Hello and welcome to the Chatter Cave podcast where we break down, review movies, TV, uh, review video games if we can get something to do, mm. have random conversations, <clears throat> but mostly review shit. Uh, I'm your host, Jan King Summer Shoes. I'm joined by the lovely Hayden, aka Licklet. And today, we possibly may be doing two, depends how long we can keep this going for. But to start off with, we're going to be do, we'll do one, there's guaranteed one uh, review today. Mm-hmm. But if it comes to it that we're going to run out of time, then, oh, not run out of time, run short on time, mm-hmm. then we'll stop, take a break to watch something else, and then do a mega review like we did for Moon Knight Slash. It's Marvel. But anyway, uh, today's topic of choice mm-hmm. is a another kids movie. By another TV network. Well, not a Disney Channel original movie this time. No, we've taken a trip back to what we did when we first started Chat Cave. Yeah. Cartoon Network original movie, where we did, obviously, two Scooby-Doo movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the prequels, which you could tell by the budget, they were TV movies. Which oh, you can with this yeah. as well, because today we're looking at Ben 10, Race Against Time. The live-action adaption of the original Ben 10 series. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's a adaption sort of of obviously the last episode, that what if episode where mm. Ben goes back to school, it's an adaption of that, but obviously completely different because yeah. it's got a different bad guy to what that had. Introduces a new bad guy, which becomes a recurring bad guy. Obviously, the parents are a lot different in terms of personality. Yes. Uh, but yeah, and obviously at that point, Ben for some reason seems to not know a lot about the plumbers, even though but before yes. that he knows everything. There's, obviously, because it is set in a different universe. So, so you can get away with a few things, like how the plumbers work differently in this universe. I mean, the fact they're a bunch of old fogies. Yeah, and that the fact they're all a bunch of... Yeah. <laughs> and whereas in, obviously, in the original series, it was just just Max and, um, obviously, his partner Phil, that was the main human plumbers. And there's other ones that were more alien-based. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, uh, this was released in 2000 and... Oh, did it say seven on the internet? Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks like a 2007 movie. Because uh, I think this was 2007. I think the next one was 2009. Yeah, because even though there's like a big like five-year gap between, obviously, original series and mm-hmm. Alien Force, there's not that much big back, big, bigger gap in real life. Because they're pretty much a year, a year apart, maybe. Yeah, like yeah mm. I think it's 2007 off the top of my noggin. Yeah. Uh, as I say, the DVD case for the other thing or it says 2009, and I'm pretty certain it was like not long after like the success of mm-hmm. the, the viewership on this one went, let's do this, this adapt the other series. Because uh, I'm obviously then they jump straight into that. Mm. So I, I believe it was. Because I think that one came out at the same time as the actual series was running, where this come out. But when the, that, the other one came out around the same time the series was probably transitioning into... To Ultimate Alien. Yeah, whereas this was out... I've made, not even when Alien Force was actually out, this one was. Yeah, this one probably was before Alien Force, and then Alien Force was revealed afterwards, I think. More than likely. It's been a long time. Mm. It's been a long time. But I know, um, it was very close. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, this it's... It's uh, it's, it's something. Mm. Um, it's, it Obviously, it's, I find it funny. It's directed by the guy from Burn Ted, obviously Alex Winters, who plays, obviously, Bill. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did find that funny that he's the director. I never knew when I first watched it until years later. I was like, "Oh shit, the guy who played Bill and Bill and Ted, and not Keanu Reeves, yeah, you know, the one that no one really knows much about, did the Ben Ten movies. He did both. Yeah. Um, so I find that quite funny. But yeah, it's uh, honestly, I prefer it to the prequel to Scooby Doo movies that they made. Oh, we definitely. I prefer it to that. Uh, I do think it does suffer. Special effects wise, but mm-hmm. this had a budget of about five million. Yeah, uh, which for a TV budget is probably about right. Maybe mm-hmm. just a bit less even. Um, so with what they had in budget wise and technology of the time, really, I I think it was a good, nice, good effort. I'd say it was a good effort. Yes, mm. um, I think then then they improved upon that. Would be its sequel. Yes. Um, where they learn, obviously, because this one you see, uh, obviously, not, four aliens. Yeah, four aliens, not counting Eon. Yeah, if you don't count Eon, you see four aliens, obviously. Mm, four transformations. Obviously, yeah, Diamond Head, Heat Blast, Wild Mutt, and Grey Matter. Mm. 
Uh, Whereas an alien force, like alien swarm. You see them on the light as well. That's the thing with this. Yeah, this one it's in the light. And there's more alien that so requires probably, the budget. That's probably where they saw with the next one. Yeah. Was, we'll pump a lot more of the budget within to them. No, less aliens, more budget onto budget. them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which helps that one succeed a bit more where this one doesn't. Yeah. But I do think this is a nice story. Mm-hmm. Obviously, again, if you've seen the What If sort of episode of Ben 10, the last ever episode of the first mm-hmm. series where it goes back to school, obviously, you'll know sort of the idea of him struggling to try and fit back into his normal life. Yes. Uh, dealing with all the, the struggles that he had beforehand. Mm, Cash and JT. Yeah, Cash and JT. <laughs> who were well cast, just like most of the, pretty much yeah. all the cast in this are pretty much well cast. They do that a lot. Yeah. Uh, apart from one character in the next one, we'll get to that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, it's like they're really well done. The characters mm. are, and obviously Ben spends his entire time trying to fit into school. Obviously, Gwen's mm. like automatically at their school, even though she isn't in, in the, the other the timeline. Series, yeah, time until lines. the end, until the last episode of the wife at the end. Is like, what, wait, what are then, you doing that here? Well, it's a different universe. Yeah. So mm. obviously they've they've done something different, which makes it does make yeah. a bit more sense because obviously then it means they can interact a lot more. Mm. Um, and obviously, of course, in the actual timeline, she's at some kind of prep school, pretty much. Yeah, because they're smart. She's, mm. Which, I mean, you see instantly in this when she's hacking and all that. It's like... Yeah. Yeah, like, he's too smart for that school. Mm. Obviously, the, this universe's version of her doesn't have the magical abilities. Yeah, so I'm guessing this universe, either Charm Castle doesn't exist, or they never fought. Or is the case of okay, we put too much budget already into all these. Most likely, it's probably that is gonna the be you know, issue trying to put budget now into magic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously, I I do remember this when I was a kid, watching it back in two thousand seven, yeah. hoping I got that right. Um, I do remember it from back then, and I do remember enjoying it back then. Mm. Obviously, I probably enjoyed it a bit more back then. Than I did now. Wonder. But yeah, childlike wonder. You don't see the awful CGI. Yeah, but when you watch it back now, you're like. I mean, instantly, the first shot where you see Heat Blast, I said to you, yeah. oh, Heat Blast's face looked weird. And, like, he's, like, obviously, the animation's quite slow with him. Yeah. He's like, yeah. And the, the, the weird flies, flies a bit, yeah, and falls the, uh, down again. The transformation sequence looks a bit weird. Yeah, I mean, Diamond Head's one looks better than... Grey Matter. Grey Matter's, but... But it still looks quite bad. Yeah. Um... But them two are probably the two best-looking ones, in terms That's of... That's the thing. The actual... Outcome. Model. Heat blast looks weird in terms of obviously his face and yeah, some well, of the motions. Mm. The Walmart, as you said, has that weird like jaw. Oh, that is like, his very jaw, floppy. Like, yeah. Whereas with Diamond Head, he looks really good. The only thing weird is more... just the. But when he's attacking, that's his only. Yeah, when he actually does the actual shards instead of morphing his hand like he did with the shield, it's just like shoots. But from the bottom yeah. Of his face. It's Whereas a bit like, weird. obviously, Grey Matter. He's just a design of him. Oh, yeah. He's probably the best when he's, one. He's definitely the best looking one because he's smaller and a lot more animated. I really liked him. Yeah. He was really fast and there, 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 there. Because obviously he's only a small model. Whereas the big bulky ones, it's, I guess it's really hard to yeah. properly animate. And there's a lot less shots of them uh, Grey Matter need to be in with other people. Mm. Whereas you can see him, in, these characters interacting They're with fighting. other people. It does kind of make it look weird. I mean, the mm. Walmart scene at the end when he picks up Gwen, and you can tell it's like a CGI, this very like mannequin looking yeah. thing into his hands to hit Eon with. And it just looks so fucking terrible. Mm. Which again, I let it slide to TV. I let it slide a bit. Mm. Uh, special effects do look better than some straight low, TV movies. Low budget TV movie for a Kai Network. So we. We'll let it slide. We'll let it slide. Mm. Not heavily let it slide, but I know, let yeah. it slide it just enough. It still affects the rating. Yeah, it still affects the rating. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it's still a pretty fun movie watching it now. Like, mm. how many years later now is this? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen God. years later? Jesus Christ. I know. It, it's literally fifteen years old. We're that old. We're older than fucking... And in Omniverse, was 18. <laughs> but yeah, for a film that's 15 years ago, it's, it's definitely still got its charm. Mm. Obviously, its, its characters are probably what help that charm. Definitely. Obviously, the aliens still do have the personalities, a bit like mm-hmm. obviously what they're doing in the shows. Obviously, Diamond Head's still this like, sort of a big, bulky, cool, cool kind of guy. Mm. Like, hey, 
Like, yeah. and he's in the toilet, and he's like, no, oh, this is not how I want to spend fifth period. I, like, I do like how they chained Grandma to be more the mad scientist yeah. kind of personality. Than which makes sense more for chaotic, that, Which then... makes sense for that character, yeah. really. Because, I mean, I mean, look at like, the Grey Matters. They are these sort of scientist Galvin's, type. Galvin's, yeah. They're, they're very smart and very... So it makes sense being mm. this sort of mad scientist. Yeah. But to be fair, though, the only reason he's really mad scientist in that one scene is just because he's just trying to destroy his yeah. bullies. That's... that's I like he's to think. Way. He, like, he's like, is it only I like to think that way? maybe he mm. is normally like the actual grey matter, but it's yeah. just that he's that peed off with his bullies at this point. He's just like, it's just gone to his brain. He's gone full mm. mad scientist. Well, all we can see is like, that's just what a lot of 10 year old Greg Galvin's are like. Yeah. Because obviously he is t- a 10 yeah. year old version of these aliens, which is why when we see in other like future episodes and stuff like that when the forearms is bigger than the ends forearm and it's a lot of different hints to it which can be a bit weird in that one episode when the theme that female tetra man is like flirting with him and it's quite clearly 10 year old tetra man she would know <laughs> but yeah it's um it's fun i mean mm. i managed to rotate the actual original series box set <laughs> uh contains all 13 episodes of the original series. Obviously, there was five series originally from Rocket Yes. Uh, and, of course, there was two movies, the live-action movie and the animated movie. Mm-hmm. The uh, Secrets that of the one Omniverse. is a better film. Yeah, oh. Had, because it's... It, it it's doesn't require animated, really yeah. bad CGI. Also, it's the first time, obviously, he transformed into way big. We see way yeah. big... In, and I think there's a lot more emotion in that. Yeah, we see way big again his point of view. in Ken 10. Whereas, in this, point, in this, the only mm. real character that has to go fully emotional is Gwen. Trying to get yes. into Ben's mind, whereas in that it's Ben. ben. Gwen's dead. Yeah, it's, it's the opposite way around. And he goes, instead of like trying to. I remember when he Gwen's dead and he goes pure like. Rage. Rage. Like he, the cannonball, the bashing through stuff. Brilliant. He's pretty good, yeah. But obviously, yeah. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's quite. I mean, yes, it could have been done better. There's a, yeah. It, there's a lot of things that could have been done better, but. For a straight TV movie with a, low with a low budget of, according to Wikipedia, five million, mm. which isn't a lot for a movie. That's fuck all, really. You need a lot of special effects. Yes, for a, for a film that requires special effects, you'd think they would have chucked in the, at least another five yeah. or ten million. But I'm guessing they saw it as the idea of, will this be successful? Yes, the show is quite popular, mm. but will people jump at the gun for a, a live action movie? Um, I would say because of the likes of Scooby Doo, but obviously that hadn't come out yet. The mm. the prequels never came out yet. They were, they were there at the time of the actual Alien Swarm sequel. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, obviously characters good, dodgy special effects, good mm. sc- story. It feels like it's still a Benton episode. Oh yeah, it, feel, it definitely feels like it's still extended. One. Extended like special. Yeah, it still definitely feels mm. like that. It's got all the quirks that you get from the show. Yeah, it's got the same um, kind of feeling to it. Heck, it even has its own intro. Like they go a fully like rock, like method with this, and yeah. like I mean, it, very what's new Scooby Doo. Yeah, it's very what's new Scooby Doo. Obviously, you got the it's showing obviously just like the DNA strands and all that. Yeah. going for all that. And it's got the full like intro song, and then it cuts to the actual alien. Obviously, mm. obviously an interpretation of how they do it in the actual show. Because in the actual show, it comes with, like. The one yeah. picture of them two, or animated. Yeah, whereas this one shows it shows the Omnitrix change, like, but it still does the one, yeah. two, and it's a good three. Thing is, like, he hints that in this universe, Ghost Freak still escaped. Yeah, you see Cannibal, not Ghost Freak. Yeah. So it basically, I do like it. Show it, obviously though we only get the four aliens in this. It does show you the, the other other ones aliens. Mm-hmm. Makes you think which one's gonna be, is he gonna use? I feel like what we're gonna call though with this is if like, you got to see some images or something of obviously during the trip. Yeah. And you got to see some pictures of obviously the other aliens. That would be good. Or like some of the security footage or something, like mm. Ben watching back, like, oh, I remember when I did maybe that as like Accelerate. Him, yeah, or maybe like him, the like image of him fighting Kevin, maybe. That would have been cool. Mm. But sadly, we did not get that. Well, um, what is right? We get, we get a, a blurry newspaper article called Walmart, isn't it? Yeah, but we get Walmart that, anyway, so because, it doesn't really matter. That's the reason why they use Walmart, because obviously they use them at the end. Yeah. Cause they've got that, so they've got a model. They've for already it. got the model. Because they don't, they don't want to make a model for aliens and not show them fully. That's probably the reason why. But it would have been nice. 
Just saying, to have more aliens, but obviously, at least this one we get four. Whereas the next one, we two. Not yeah, but counting we're... Nanomech. We're not counting Nanomech in this situation. Because of, of his transformations. Because oh. Nanomech's introduced. Oh, into okay. Okay, which is why not counting Aeon. Yeah. Okay. Like Aeon's... Also, Aeon's another can of worms we don't really want to open. <laughs> I mean, because so, he's Ben. Yeah, because... Which is never revealed in this. It's revealed in Ultimate Alien that he's Ben. And then... I mean, there should be... Yeah. There's a lot of hints that you could get from this that it is like... Heather Factor knows the score, obviously. He's like, oh, Firebell goes. Where do they go from yeah. to get to the outside? Like, and also him saying stuff like, you are, you, you will become me. And, stuff like and that. I know you, Tennyson. And yeah. stuff like, like, that should have been, the, that's the little hints mm. there that, where I'm guessing they went, you know what? I can make him into uh, Ben in their ultimate. I'm guessing that's where they got the hint. Like, yes. They're just like, wait a minute, we can use this character again. Why don't we just make him Ben? There's these little fucking hints here yeah. that he's Ben. And all those little weird monk guys, they're also all Ben. Yes, the weird kung fu monks that come flying out of the sky to yeah. fight the police and fight they the plumbers. They look better in Ultimate Alien. It's like, they're like, whoa. It is pretty. I think the, Ninja, I, they've got swords and stuff. I think the plumbers are some of the best ones in this, especially <laughs> the uh, principal. He's like, mm. he's, he's great. I mean, his whole gimmick of, okay, which key is it? Which key is it? Hey, yeah. hey, on the wall, idiot. <laughs> like them two are the best. Them two and the old uh, uh, Asian guy. That, oh, uh, yeah, he's brilliant. Those three are the best. Can I see that? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> old man laugh. <laughs> I, I, I just love those three. Obviously, you got the principal is basically. Like, he's it's just a principal, basically. But he, he acts all really strict, and then in the moment he, like, he, he reveals, reveals himself as a plumber, he's, he's like a really sentimental. <laughs> and he's an idiot, basically. He's like trying to be like sentimental, but he's still yeah. basically being an idiot. Obviously, got the um, the store owner. Obviously, works. With the, she owns obviously the restaurant, the diner. Mm. Obviously, she's like this sort of mom like character. The nasty trick Grandma played in those kids. Like she's like that sort of character. I mean, obviously, she knows what Grandpa's like in terms of yeah. how she feeds him. So she's like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll fix you something up, sugar. Because like, stuff like, she like, knows. Like, stuff like that. And obviously, um, you get the old Asian guy who's just mm. oblivious to everything. Acts oblivious. Yeah, because it's a disguise. You're a plumber. Can't you see your disguise when you see one? That's a disguise. No. <laughs> <laughs> I li- I do love his reveal of like he's a plumber. Cause you could, get you, you ugly bug. <laughs> you could just think, you could they could, could that could have there been just him being an actual, just like blind. Yeah. They could have played it as he's old, he's senile. That's why he didn't see Graham at a blow him clearly laughing his tits off. Mm. But no, it's because he's a plumber. He's just like. I can see you there, but I'm just going to pretend... Darn, more coffee, please. I'm just going to pretend you're not there. I like to think that he did that, like he saw Grant Murder, and so he didn't... So obviously, didn't, Ben wouldn't clock that he saw him. Yeah. That was his way of like, being oblivious. Trying like, to hide the cover. Yeah. So trying to, they've all got to try and they've hide They've all got to try the and covers. hide the cover. Obviously, one's got to pretend to own a restaurant. Yeah. One's got to be an oblivious old guy. Uh, one's going to be a florist, a fireman, an electrician, um, principal, oh. some old lady pushing... A cart around, um, someone is sitting on a bench. Like mm. they're all just pretend to be like normal citizens doing normal stuff. It's a shame that some of these characters we don't really see again. Yeah, I would love to see the Asia guy again in like in in Alien Force or in Omniverse. Max, he would have been funny. But the what, two characters, I'm so glad that they kept in the parents. The parents, because they are so good in this. The hippie in parents. Oh, well, oh, it's Carl, Andra. Carl, okay. <laughs> we're on equal grounds here. Oh, it's funny because obviously in Alien Force they keep the same kind of personality, the same the same voices because it's the same actors. And have a have a good night, son. Don't show those tapes. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night, Ben. Don't show those tapes, please. Don't. <laughs> oh, that that their interactions are brilliant, and I do glad that they stayed because like, obviously in Alien Force they're again like that when they first have to um ground Ben. And they have no idea what to do because they've never grounded him before because they don't believe in it. I, I mean, he, like, he's, he, he, he dad goes to train, like, I've still got my belt. He do that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, because there's only really five characters that come yeah. from the actual show that appear in this. Mm. I think all five are adapted pretty well. They Definitely. all feel like they could easily slot into the animated show yes. and still be. Gwen and Ben have still got the same kind of personality. They've both got the bickering side, but also the emotional grandpa's side. Grandpa's still got that he's same. He's got the perfect grandpa. He feels like an old. Tired plumber, yeah, tend to be a redneck, brilliant. Obviously, JT and Cash are perfectly well done as bodies. 
Um, especially like, especially like JT. JT. He looks yeah. exactly the same. Yeah, he does. <laughs> same glass, same kind yeah. of chubby, like curly haired kid. Perfect. You know, JT well, Cash doesn't really look like the character. Mm. Well, let's lie. Yeah, you, you look like him, uh, but personality is exactly yeah. like Depends seven, they weren't too fussed about being that accurate in terms yes. of, you know, that. I mean, look at the amount of uh, non-white characters in anime shows voiced mm. by white actors. They, they weren't that fussed back then. Now, if it was adapted, they probably would adapt it a bit oh, more yeah. accurate to the character design, but 2007, mm. to them back then, it wasn't a big deal to how it is now of getting it right, which mm-hmm. is how it should be. Um... Anything else you really want to say? I mean, mm. it's only it's a short movie. It's an hour long. Yeah, it's, I think we've covered it's essentially a TV it. special. I mean, we've covered obviously all the things that this is affected as well. We've covered the parents, the Eon, and how we do see the clip clip of not a clip, but it's like an animated version of this film in Ultimate Alien. Because obviously Armageddon, which is the the big like um, MacGuffin that they're after of this. Film. He's obviously in yeah. the Ultimate Alien, and you see like a little, big like time fraction. It shows other timelines, and when this is this universe, you can tell because of that little clip that she has, and, yeah. her, and Gwen has her hair. They use that in the animation. It's a little look, look, little different looking because she has the classic Lucky Girl um, top, yeah, the blue top instead of what she wears in this. But Sorry. it's designed. I say they got Ben's outfit mm. and Max's outfit oh, spot yeah, on perfectly. Spot. It's just obviously uh, Gwen doesn't have the accurate yeah outfit which is a shame but it also makes sense because a... she herself is very like obviously in she tends to change her out, yeah fit quite a bit in between ultimate like any force more alien it's like it would have been cool it would have been, cooler, cartoon, it would have been but... cooler to see the actual classic yeah. outfit but oh well it's mm. a tv budget i probably went oh well, we've got, that... we got ben rice that's all we need then the main character we really just need that, that white shirt with a big stripe down the We top. see it as a different universe. Maybe in this universe she doesn't have that top. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Who knows? Um, is there anything else? As I say, we covered it all. It's, just too, it's, it's that all short of a movie now. that, which is mm. why I wanted, which is why I put the idea of maybe it's going to be a double one, which it's definitely looking like it's going to be. Definitely. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. That's okay. Let's go, let's go straight to the ratings then. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, the CGI does affect it. Mm-hmm. Um, I will admit that. Uh, some of the choices for the uh, alien moments just affected the diamond head yeah. shoot his he, weird face for heat blast and mm. the jaw for di- uh, wild mutt the transformations the transformations too. yes but that co- sort of comes under CGI as well mm. um, the runtime I think affects it I feel like I would it's like it to be in an hour 20 maybe an hour 30 like, and it actually added a lot more mm. and then they could have done like flashbacks to his adventures and stuff like that Um but yeah, that kind of that, that all those smash into effect yeah. it. But as I said at the start, I prefer this to the prequel Scooby Doo movies that the Cartoon Network did years later. Mm-hmm. Yes, not miles ahead of them because I think memory wise, going back, we I think I think you went high on the first one we did the um, Mystery Begins. I think you mm-hmm. went for like a six on that, if I remember correctly, like two years ago. Whereas I went for a five. I went for mm-hmm. more mediocre. And then the sequel, I think we both agreed on like the four or something like that, or you might have been a bit lower than that. Or we both were. Well, is it, I, I might have lowered it because the sheep is. It might have been a, a three, I can't remember. But basically, we went quite mm. middle grounds. But well, I never went past the middle ground. I always went middle or below, mm-hmm. whereas you did push a bit further ahead. But mm. I do personally prefer this to that. So if I did give the first one a five off memory, mm-hmm. I'm going to give this one a six out of ten. Um, it's good, it's not great. But it is still watchable, and it is still fun. It does still feel like Ben Ten, but I don't want to mm. push it past that six because personally, all those things do drag it down enough. Yeah, and I do prefer the next one. Um, mm-hmm. so I don't want to push this beyond where I in my memory at the moment that next one is. Mm-hmm. So I feel like a six out of ten, which is a iron egg. Mm-hmm. It's the first time I've given this one uh, since we've done this new ratings. I believe it's iron, which mm-hmm. is your what you've come up with for me. Because, you know, oh, yeah. bronze is stronger than iron. So, iron's got to go below bronze. So, 6 out of 10, which is a bronze egg from me. Mm. Well, that's for me. See, I've... Because of it being Ben 10, oh, I do yeah, have we, nostalgia we've glasses done, for it. We're doing exacts, aren't we, now? Yeah. Oh, fuck. If you, oh, want, fuck. If you uh, don't have to. 
I'll give it a 6.3. 6.3 out of 10. I'll change my mind there. <laughs> Slam it over the top again. <laughs> I'm going to change my mind there. 6.3. I don't. I think it's a high 6. I think it's still like middle ground 6. Mm -hmm. So I think a 6.3-ish would do me. Yeah. I forgot about that. Mm. No, that's that. Oh, you threw this, this new rating is in. I fucking forgot instantly. Because I've got, because I've got, I've seen nostalgia goggles as well, because it being Ben 10, and out of all of the old classic, like, shows that everyone used to watch, this is the one that I was obsessed with, best watch all the time, it's the one where I know the lore for every single episode, I've watched Nerd. every single episode, this is, this is my Power Rangers, you've, you know, pretty much everything about Power Rangers, you've got all the memorabilia and stuff, you... That's your big thing. This is my big thing. Ben 10 has always been. So, I have nostalgia goggles for it. But, even I've, I can I've admit... Got, I've got no nostalgia goggles got, to yeah. give you. Even I can admit, it's got its flaws. <laughs> we, I should get some of them. I should get like a pair of goggles whenever I go, I've got nostalgia <laughs> yeah. goggles. You just pull them on. <laughs> oh, because, yeah. So, I've got... I'm a bit biased to it, but I do know there's, there's some flaws to it. Like I said, the CGI is a bit... Nah, but the fact that some of that is irrelevant, like the parents, yeah, they they, they pick such great parents that it's influence in Ultimate Alien, Animal Force, and Omniverse. You see the mom again, and it's so well affected. There's a lot of good stuff to it. There's some, some naff parts, but the fact that Eon comes back, that it's it's relevant, and I think that for me adds a little bit more to it as well. So I would give it, not too much, I would give it a 7. See, I'm being... Damn it, why did I give it 6.3? Now I've got to try and yeah, figure out the middle ground specifically, here. Specifically. If you want to be specific, go specific. If you... Specifically 7.8. I still think it's really good. Wait, there what, are flaws. Wait. Wait, you, what do you give it? You should... Because I think mm. if the CGI was better, it would have hit that 8 or maybe even a 9. Yeah, but if you do, obviously if you gave it the... 7.8 in your mind. Surely mm -hmm. you would have rounded up to an 8 originally and then gone, want me to be specific, 7.8 because I'm not rounding it. Because, no, specific, I'm not, not going to round. And why do you say 7 in Because seven? you rounded it down, but yeah. by 8 points, yeah. even though it's close to the 8. Yeah. That's yeah. my phone, I want to do maths here. I know it's technically if you're rounding up, it would be A. Yeah, that's what I guess it's confusing me. Give me my phone, I'm doing, I'm doing I'm maths here. I need to do my average maths here. Okay. You could have literally just rip. Destroy the room. Destroy the room. Yeah, I'm destroying the room. Not listening to you. I am listening to you. <laughs> Look at my fucking phone. So I can do maths. Ugh. Now I've got, got to try and do maths. 7.8. Yes. Okay. Being specific. It's still technically to me. To me, it's still technically a 7. But. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Point mm -hmm. three from me. Seven point eight from you. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it gives it an uh, average of seven point zero five. Okay. Which it's at the five point so round it up because I'm not really going to be specific with that. I'll do round. Round the five. It'd be seven point one. Seven point one. That's what I mean. I'll, I'll, I don't mind rounding that part. Mm -hmm. I don't be, I don't give a shit about being specific to say seven point zero five. That's not really rating, is it? So okay, so that gives Ben Ten Race Against Time a chat cave overall rating. Of, well, the chat cave overall rating of seven point one out of ten, which uh, falls mm -hmm. under the uh, bronze category, mm -hmm. uh, which I, I'd accept. I'd accept. So obviously, you know, it lent more towards obviously. You because you were higher on the seven, whereas mm. that helped it a bit more. I think if you were a bit lower, then it would have slid into the six part. So that's mm. seven point one. I can accept that. I can accept that. It's not. I'm not going to say it's like a mm, bit too much. I'll, I'll accept anywhere between six and like seven point five. I'll accept that. See, I didn't go. Yeah, I don't think your seven point is a bit too high. Um, but yeah, okay. So MVP. I say Max. I think Max is spot on in this. Mm. Lee Majors. I was, I'm debating giving it to the parents, but I think Lee Majors is the perfect casting for Max. Mm. I love him in Ash vs Evil Dead, where he plays obviously Ash Williams' dad, mm. and he has the same personality. He's a bit like a desire, but he's a bit more vulgar. 
Mm. So I love Lee Majors, and I'm so happy that he he got Max spot on, and they cast him as him. Not compared to the Max that we got next time. He was a bit wank. Mm. Um, okay, runner up. Again, I kind of want to give it to the parents. You want to give it to the, Sandra and Carl? We're doing two, yes. are we? Yeah. Because they get used again, and the, the, that icon, they become okay. the parents officially between. And and so, the, so the runners yeah. up are going to be Sandra and Carl. We'll do two this time, okay? I yeah. like that slide. Um, okay, so favorite moment. Mm. Ooh, I'm going to say um, the, the keys. I can't. The, the prince on his keys. Hold on, hold on. I'll get you out in a minute. It's just uh, one of these keys here. <laughs> No, it's not that. I know which one it is. Hey, hey, the button. Click the button. Oh, right. It's so much <laughs> easier. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm going to say, because I just love the principles. He was going to be, he's my mental runner up. Mm. He is. Me, I'd say the Grey Matter scene. After the transformation, I'd say. Oh, yeah, when he's basically. He's, he's had Grey Matter going around, he's fixing all his stuff, he's chaotically jumping, jumping. There's the fucking. If shit's going flying yeah. everywhere, and then it topped off with that Asian guy going, "Mook, Doris, more, more coffee, coffee, please." <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely up there as well, man. I just, I just, I just like the principal. Mm. He's just an idiot. I think it's just because I've seen him in Star Trek before, so I've, a lot of comical moments. I've seen him in a lot of stuff, so he's, he, mm. he, he, he just overplays that scene so, like, plays it so well. It's like they're all there sweating stuff like we are here. Yeah. It's like, oh, come on, let us out here. It's just like. Hold on, I'll be with you in a minute. And it's not even like the first time he does it. He does it before as yeah, well. The, like the, the, guns. the guns. He's like he's trying to try to do it. As well. She already breaks it and goes, oh, "I found it. I put a little, uh, yeah, little, little uh, ribbon on it." So I remember which one it is. Yes. Already fucking opened it. <laughs> so yeah, either one of those scenes for me works with the principal. Mm. Um, okay. Um, here's a question. Um, favorite alien from the original five series run. From- I, I was going to do two, but I'm going to say from the original five series run. From the original from the classic series. Well, it's, no, I do big things. I like Walmart and Ghost Freak. I They're my two biggest. I beat you in, straight away. I can jump in two here straight biggest. away. Give you mine instantly. Ben Wolf. Okay. I love Ben Wolf. Blitzwolfer. Ben Wolf to me. Well, it's Blitzwolfer in I don't Omniverse. give a shit about Omniverse. I only went up to Ultimate Alien. Look, Omniverse, there are some... No, 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 no. It's a good series. No, I'm going to stick with a Make Ben Morf. It's, it's just Ben Morf. Take from Bits of a Pretty cool if I, but Basically. I don't care about any. Uh, basically, Echo Echo, but without certain Yeah, I don't, I don't care about any description of Bits character. I don't know what the character's like. I get your character out here. Okay, well, I'm debating between. I think it's between Walmart and Ghost Rick. I do the Walmart. It's obviously it's a big dog line thing. It's pretty cool. I like how he's blind. Also, Ghost Freak's really good because I see the whole bit when he escapes. Obviously, the scare escapes. And... We might actually just do this as two separate videos now because I'm, I'm looking at the time of this and it's almost pushing my pod- my minimum podcast length. So I'll I'm... say Ghost Freak, okay? We're going okay. with Ghost Freak. Ghost Freak. But one wants a close second. Like, really, really close. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kill you to try and put uh, slip my father then. It kills you to try and split with him between. Also, I won't explain why, but I'm trying not to. Uh. Oh. You should have known that I would keep on talking. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is basically time. We're going to take a break now. I will. I, I'm going to allow this to be an extra length one. Um. Because I mean. Mm. Do you reckon we can talk about Alien Swarm for this long? I probably could. Okay, I'll... Okay, we'll do, we'll just, we'll do that as a separate one then. Because mm-hmm. it means trying to like, watch two other things to cram into. Okay, fine, fuck it. We'll stick with... We'll carry on for a minute then. Let's get mm-hmm. this to 14 and then we'll stop and then you'll have Alien Swarm next week. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Um, what would you say is the best alien in this movie? In the movie, Grey Matter. Grey Matter, definitely. Because visually, 
the model is on point. If you ignore the transformation scene, perfect on point. I do like the look of Diamond Head until he actually uses his powers. <laughs> but I think on screen, Grant is probably the best because even when he moves, he looks really good. There's small leaves and nothing, not much people to interact with. So I think definitely Grant Mm. Okay. Um, I don't think anything else is to mm. keep us going for another five minutes then. So, what island do you want to, want to have seen? What island this? would have wanted to see? Oh, these are the actual 10 that it showed you, not obviously. Yes, not cut and go through it because it's out of the undergrowth. So the ones that basically come up at the start. Uh, mm-hmm. Forearms, probably. Mm. Forearms probably would have been a big one. He's like one of the coolest ones. I mean, he's one of the OG ones. Obviously, up there, with, obviously, Heat Blast is one of the early ones you get to see. Mm hmm. Obviously, Heat Blast is the first one you see because Ben Burns the Forest Day in the original episode. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty certain Forearms is, is he in episode one, is he? No, Diamond Head. Do- uh, yes, it's a big fight at the end. Um, mm. It's episode two, though, isn't it? If Forearms comes into it. Mm, yes, because he fights with the mammoth. Yes. So yeah, I'd probably say Forearms because I remember that one scene in the actual original show where he picks up a massive stone sword. Yes, and, like, that's s- against Hex. Yeah, and just like slams it. I remember that. <laughs> I know what it's still. Yes, you do, you big fucking nerd. Um, mm, I think I would have liked to have seen Cannonball. I did like Cannonball. It was one of the cool ones. I feel like, it, obviously, in terms of CGI, it would have been a bit iffy. It would have been the, iffy in balling. CGI. I feel like forearms would have been okay just because. If you're going with what would look good in CGI. In their budget, I think forearms would have been a. I don't think the rest of them would. Forearms probably would look okay. Probably more like Walmart in a way because it's it's more about the fur. Yeah. See, didn't look it, but he's obviously quite hairy, more ape-like. Depends on which version, really. The original version. Mm, But I think, yeah, I think it would be cool seeing Brahms, but would have also been cool to have seen Upjo. Yeah, but it's not... Up just not shown in yeah, that thing on, yes. Cause it's only so it countable. won't count. It won't count. Obviously, he does have more than ten aliens because he's got Wolverine as well. Yeah, I know. Mm. I've also seen the original show. He also has way big. Yeah, in the Secret of the Omnitrix. Yeah, yeah. He has multiple. He also has ends. the mummy. But I think it would have been cool to have seen Cannibal Snaro. Yeah, the mummy. Mm. I don't remember what it was called in the actual original series. Just Ben Mummy. It was Ben Mummy. Yeah, they add, that's they add Ben to it, and people are like a bit banging. That's why they renamed him in Omniverse. Got obviously. No, Ben Wolf was the cool name. Frank and Ben was Frank and Strike. Ben Mummy came Snaro. I can understand changing the Ben, ben Mummy. Wolf that's a bit came... uh, a bit shit, but I I, mm. I didn't mind Frank. Frank and Ben sounds alright because it's quite a funny name. Frank and Strike. Obviously, it's electric blitz power, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, then Blitz Wolfer. Yeah, I will admit. It's weird how the name after some kind of controversial political say, guy. Bl- it sounds like some like basically Nazi type. Wolf Blitz or something like that. It's like some kind of like really controversial. Wording. Yeah, it's, I don't know why they went for that, but it's kind of funny he's looked at him and even uh, uh, that's Wolfer. There you go. It's exactly the same. Me, it'll always be Ben Wolf. Mm. Just because it made sense for the fact that he spent the entire episode transforming into a wolf. Yeah. And that makes sense to call him Ben Wolf. Mm-hmm. Uh, fucking Omniverse. Slow down for the Ben 10. Omniverse was right. Slow down for the good, Ben 10. There were some really good moments in Omniverse. And there's some Slow cool Slow down for the Ben 10. I mean, graphic attack's pretty cool. Graph attack's pretty cool. Look, my eyes, it got up to Ultimate Alien, and that's fine. The story's told. Not really, because they, they give the new Omnitrix in all, the end of the Ultimate Alien. That's not giving the new one. Yeah, but then that could have been the end. In my eyes, that's it. Got it. It was like it, it was carried on protecting the world without anyone seeing. There are some cool episodes. I don't like the fucking designs of Omniverse. You get used to it. No, I don't. I've seen like I have seen loads of episodes of Omniverse. I did not get used to the What's animated. Awesome? Yes, it's way better animated than the actual fucking reboot. You don't talk about the reboot. But it's nowhere near <laughs> in terms of good animation like the original. It still feels. Like it, and there's that cool episode with the um Secret Saturdays. That was alright. I mean, the verse wasn't for me. Mm. No, there are some good designs. I'd say like Ben's weird cool. ass green eyes. 
got green eyes and emerald balls. I mean, he's bright, over the top eyes. The more over the top in the universe. Well, of course it is. It's going from less anime looking animation to more Charlie. classic American that, like cartoons. That. I prefer the over animation style. I, mean, I know yeah. he's got green eyes. Normally, I can see the case out the green eyes, but it's like too green. I prefer the animation in, of the Ultimate Alien Force. But it's a lot more creative in Omniverse. No. No. At least it's better than Reboot. Yes, I've admitted it's better than Reboot. But I still prefer anything pre-Omniverse. <sighs> anyway, that'll do. We've managed to get to 40 minutes arguing for five minutes. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Have you seen Ben 10 Race Against Time? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you have, put your uh, comments in the comment section below. What alien do you want to see? What's your favourite alien from the original five mm-hmm. series run? Um, so yeah, next week we'll do it as a separate one because mm. if we drag this out for 40 minutes, she'll find a way to drag that out for 40 minutes. Uh, saves me trying to make us watch more than fucking two movies to cover two videos. Because I was going to do that. It was going to be four films. It's going to be two big bu- uh, length oh, God. reviews. But I'm going to say that's a, its own thing. Because if you can talk about that for that long, I'm going to be able to talk to, for about my stuff for 40 minutes. And what your stuff's going to be about. Well, you have to find out, won't you? Um, so yeah, um, next week we'll be covering the sequel to uh, this, which isn't actually a follow-up. But it's an f- adaption of the follow-up series. Which mm-hmm. of course, Aliens Four. Um, so we will do that next time, and we will see you for that then. Mm-hmm. Bye.